Nicholson from Pete's Diary here. Uh, I recently got the uh, Spark Mini from Positive Grid, and I've been having a lot of fun with this thing and getting some different tones out of it. I wanted to show you what I'm messing around with today here uh, with the app. So my favorite, uh, I guess, amp preset on the, uh, you know, you have the Positive Grid app, right, that you can connect the Spark to and kind of do a lot of, uh, you know, set up your own sound, basically, and, and get a lot of fun tones out of it. Um, there's a lot that you can mess around with, but with me, this is what I'm just having fun with right now. Um, and there's still a lot more to check out. <laughs> so I'm using the American High Gain, you know, big, fat, distorted sound. Um, so that was kind of the overdrive that you heard in that. Then the next thing that I kind of do right away, and I do it on the larger Spark too. I like put it on the noise gate, and I'll kind of show you what I mean here. Um, you can kind of hear it hissing a little bit. Um, see, I mean, it's not that loud, <laughs> but you know. Uh, it is kind of nice that you can just kind of turn that on and it's quiet <laughs> and that's basically all of that's down at zero don't know if it's flipped around for you kind of hard to tell <laughs> um but yeah i just kind of keep that at zero then the next thing i like to do and then that's basically it you know if i i just kind of control the gain um on this you know for a lead tone and then that's kind of it it's really straightforward <laughs> with with that kind of setup um, but the, actually, uh, there is one more thing I like to put on that kind of keeps, that, uh, stays on the whole time. Um, so in addition to that noise gate, there's also a bit of reverb. So like right now, you know, if I hit a chord, it, you know, it's kind of a dead sound, right? So with the reverb, just a little bit, I guess there's a little bit of it, but you know, it's not like there's, it's not overbearing. It's just enough for it to breathe a little bit, right? So it's not so, um, stiff. So there you go. So that's kind of really the main thing I'm rolling with here. So that's kind of the main distorted sound. And then again, I was just messing around with the gain, <laughs> depending on what I'm feeling. <laughs> but some of the other stuff here, you know, on this spot here, uh, what do they call it? Uh, mod EQ. So like there's different modulate or, uh, you know, different kind of sounds that you can go for, tremolo, flanger. Right now I'm rocking with the uh, chorus. Oh, I think I might have accidentally changed it. Uh, uh, let me see. Yeah. <laughs> but with the chorus, uh, I like to roll down my volume on the guitar for a bit of a clean sound. And then you just kind of turn on the chorus and mess around with that. So that's kind of that, you know. kind of a nice clean sound with that um and then the only other thing that i'm messing around here for delays there's so much you know you can do with that but you know if this is kind of like the welcome to the jungle sound <laughs> sort of i don't quite know exactly what the settings are that slash is using for that i just found a video on youtube um of him playing it live and kind of tried to dial it into that because he kind of hit it muted first and you could kind of hear the delays ping out um so this is kind of a I don't know, I, a wild guess at uh, what his settings are for that. But you know, it's that kind of sound that I'm going for here. So, you know, that's kind of the sound too. And there, you know, there's so much you can mess around with the delay. Like the, the Brian May, uh, Brian Rock solo and all that cool stuff. So yeah, you know, there's lots of possibilities that you can mess around with here. There's, you know, lots of stuff to check out and have fun with. But this is just kind of the setup that I'm rolling with uh, right now. Like I said, you know, still, you know, a ton to explore and uh, have fun with. So yeah, uh, if you haven't checked out the Spark Mini or the Spark 42, um, really fun amps. Highly recommend them. They're great for, you know, at home when you can't crank up a tube amp. <laughs> and annoy your neighbors um you get lots of fun sounds out of them um and you're not gonna you know shake the house <laughs> as fun as that is you know